I'm Horace. I'm Tammy. I'm Felix. I'm Jovi. Today we are going to share our short stories, The Poor Rich Countries. Once upon a time, there were two countries, Toy and Fina. They have been fighting for hundreds of years. Toy and Fina were ruled by Clifford and Nicola, respectively. They always thought that they were the best leader and country ever. They believed their citizens were the most wealthy and powerful in the world. One day, Clifford and Nicola, Nicola had a regularly annual meeting to show how strong their own country was. They can't stop quarreling. Both of their faces flushed. Suddenly, Clifford had a thought to have a rich competition. They were going to pick five people on the street in each country, then compare which country was the richest. To make it as a fair game, Clifford and Nicola could only go to other countries to select five people. They only had five hours to observe and select. Before 6 p.m., they had to meet up again. Clifford headed to Finna. He was thrilled when he stepped into the country. The environment in Finna was extremely bad that no one could imagine it. The citizens were as thin as a log. They were eating some vegetables which were covered by lots of insects and ants and flies. Some people were lying on the floor, floor with pale faces. Some of them were even injured with broken arms and necks. They all looked painful and miserable. Clifford approached a young man and asked, Why don't you see doctors? The young man replied, Doctors, all of them went to the battlefield to cure the injured soldiers who would care about us. Through seeing these miserable situations, Clifford was happy. He thought he must be the winner of the competition. He had five people in hands. At the same time, Nicola was visiting twice. Once she stepped on the streets, she felt satisfied. The street was full of homeless people. When Nicola was walking by, she couldn't help but use the hand to cover her nose and ran as quickly as possible. It is too smelly. Have they ever barked before? Ouch! A toy crashed on her head. Nicola turned around. She saw two kids were fighting. It's my toy. Give it back to me. Nicola was curious, so she asked. What's your name? Humphrey. Clark. Why don't you share the toy with each other? Nicola asked. I stole it from others. It is mine. Humphrey said. I stole it, not you. Clark defense. Through seeing these miserable situations, Nicola was happy. She saw she must be the winner of the competition. She had five people in hands. At 6 p.m., Clifford and Nicola met again. Their eyes and mouths were wide. They couldn't believe what they were looking at. Ten people standing in front of them wearing poor and torn clothes with smelly hair and body and all looked miserable and angry. Clifford asked his citizens, Why did you look so poor in our country? We were rich. I was a good leader. We should be the most powerful country in the world. Nicola asked her citizens, Why did you look so miserable in our country? We were wealthy. I was a great leader. We should be the most powerful country in the world. Ten people head up and pointed at them. You kill our friends. You kill our family. You kill our health. You kill our school. You kill our joy. You kill our love. You kill our hope. You kill our future. You kill our heart. You kill our life. Ten of them shouted together. Because, because of war, because, because of land, because, because of power, we are being hurt. hurt. Clifford and Nicola were shocked. They always thought that they were the great leader who always brought victories and glories. They couldn't believe they had brought misery to citizens for ages. How cold-heartedly they were. Stop the war. Stop the war. Clifford and Nicola promised it. What a wonderful world. This is the end of our short story. In this story, we wish there is no war and no gun in the world. Because of war, many people are suffering. If there is no war, people will have a better life. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.